let's go fight some varmint, shall we? Yes. Okay. So we'll do this one first, because it's level one. And then we'll go do the level two. One. We're going. On my way. <sighs> Looks like we found our first target. Yeah. Ready, not. A threat meter displays when an enemy detects your presence. I'm already in battle though. Hold your weapons to attack. Hold circle to blitz the enemy with consecutive attacks. Change weapons on the fly and adapt to the flow of control. Yeah. I'm guessing we got the strategy done just fine. Excellent work. On we go. Ah, we gotta keep going in even further out. Great. Yeah, this will be a lot of this game. Like you can drive the car around once it gets fixed. And you will be doing that to get from area to area probably. But a large part of it is just running through this big open world. Trying to avoid enemies that you don't want to fight. They are gonna know what it Let's do this. Press square to roll dodge and definitely evade enemy attacks. Hold square to defend against oncoming. Very nice. Hey Bronco! Stay on your feet! You like that? Solid! Hey, Ignis! Instructions! Okay! Okay, that's a pretty cool move. There we go. So the best way to deal with these guys is the great sword. Because they just get crushed. Whoops. Sorry about that guys. Pumped into my mind. So uh where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs? That's not a very nice way to uh, refer to your prints. I feel like there should be uh, collectibles out here, but they're not showing right now. Not this thing. Instantaneously warp strike. Yes, we know. Father knocks his blade warps to more damage to attack. Heal. There we go. And this one's gonna just be a easy fight. No finesse, ah. Uh. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. We just so happened to be nearby. So, what did Cindy say? He needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack.
Yeah, I believe that when I see it. We are at the Tree Valley's parking spot. What is the best way to get inside this shack? What's this? Fusion Dullhorn Sighting. Codename Bloodhorn. Accurate six red tusks. Extremely violent. Outstanding bounty on saber tusks in the area. Okay. Those would be the saber tusks. Remember, just a scared of us. Easy as they come. Okay, this ain't going very good so far. That's going better. Much better. But we're not done yet, come on. Hey, what about the shack over there? More shacks? Just how many shacks are there? Walk to the windmill. Friends pro strategies to get an advantage in combat. Or the strategies to earn AP. Blue markers indicate points you can walk through, blah blah blah. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. Yes. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting gain from the safety and comfort of bones. That's a bit heartless. Yeah, I don't think we'll be befriending. I'm fine. I just pressed the wrong button. Wow, that didn't actually finish it. There we go. Almost went into stasis. But not quite. We're outnumbered. I propose we take them out one by one. Let's you propose a way to finish this fast. Don't wear yourself out like that. Take cover and rest up. Yes, yes, I know. Hey, who's out there? Hello, Dave. Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? Been looking for you. And didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I'm getting stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them barnets. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? We'll do it for free. Oh yeah, we'll take care of it. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw them. And we unlock the magic block. Now let's get ready to kick some tail. And 30 XP. Huh? 0 0.23 miles. Uh, I wonder. No, I want the hard on. Uh, 
I thought that there was a way to make it display in kilometers instead of miles just because that's the measurements I use, but I don't see it. So, Elementsy, we have four fire and three iron. So, for example, if I mix. Okay, so I can't mix them. I can mix them, but it doesn't do anything different. Uh, yeah, sure. You can take Blizzard. And you can take Fire. Okay, let's go run the quarter mile. It would be wise to rest up before we set out. A formidable throw awaits. Prepare for this encounter by resting at the nearby haven. Ignis will cook a sass boosting meal for the party. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crown's Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Okay, so this is a haven. And around the havens, you will usually find elemental energy deposits, which you can then use to make magic, provided you have a free elemental flask. Oh, okay. Where did that enemy come from? Try to hit him from behind. Is it you? It is you. Well, considering you're level 12, it might be best to uh, not worry about that uh, lightning magic right now. train I forget what training exactly does for me right now yeah I can use those too man gonna lose to you on my first drill. Never mind, I might end up losing to you on my first drill. Ooh, that was close. I get a little bit of extra XP out of that. And AP. But they don't. So it's just a little bit extra to help boost knock this along to be a bit more helpful. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. Not sure where we got the camping gear from. I assume it's meant to be in the car, but we don't have the car with us currently.
But also, we call our weapons out from a magical hemisphere, so maybe all this is in there too? Yes, yeah, sure. it's okay. Ignis uses ingredients to repair meals at camp, acquire new recipes to expand Ignis's cookbook and the variety of bonuses available. So for example, just plain old toast, increase the sack by 10. Rice balls, HP by 50. Uh, Rock Madame, attack by 30. Crispy cheese pizza has quite a few things. Attack by 100 enables sprinting without expanding stamina and prevents poison. The whole heap here, like this is kind of the one that I'd probably want in this case, the Moogle Moose with Cooperberry Sauce. You see it massively increases my defense and my spirit and my HP. But I'm pretty sure these are all also DLC ones, which is why we don't have ingredients and why they're so powerful. Hearty stir fry. Yeah, these are super, super powerful. In this case, we may as well do the cheese pizza because it is surprisingly strong and it doesn't have ingredients. And that right there is why this is such a gigantic game, firewire size, because you can get those food pictures in 4K. Oh yeah, also, you don't level up until, uh, until you rest of the camp. Prompto is documenting the journey in photographs, review the pictures he takes and save his best snapshots. Yeah, these will just happen while you're out and about. None of these will necessarily be things that actually happened while you're doing it, but a lot of them will be. Like, he is, he's just taking pictures that he's in while fighting. Well taken. But, you know, that's Ignis that Prompto is taking, yeah. Like, these ones are all just ones that are scripted. Ones like these are combat ones. Like, that's a really cool picture. And it's one that just happens randomly as you, uh... Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. But like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench with a sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. And we got a bunch of AP there, didn't we? Which means... Uh, technique. Grab that. Make it useful for everyone. Oh, interesting. I don't think I ever unlocked those ones. That's kind of the, yeah, that's the next one I want to get. Okay. So, yep, that's their skills, which we'll get more into later.
Okay, so I have to choose one of them. Okay. So, for example, Mark walks like Mark Bam is successful with daggers to. Bring all allies into Sour Defense and Pisa to Sasha. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was It'll be better. done again. It'll be ready soon. Don't worry too much. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run of the mill. That's breed. a big boy. We must make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure. Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> Good work, buddy. It's not over yet. <laughs> Yes, I know they can, but I am not. We got a tough one on our hands. I'll say. Right, I need to actually hold. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I have Gladio use Tempest and then follow his lead. Well, considering he doesn't have this. Actually, can I? Oh yeah. I can, but it was dead anyway, already. So that didn't get to happen. Ring ring. Good to know I can change on the fly though, even during fight. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, well, I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. That's right. Dad said he left something in the trunk for me. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. Look how far we have already come. We came all the way out here, stayed at that haven, and then moved out here. There's a whole town up there that we gotta get to, but we need to make our way back to Hammerhead. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room in back. Hey, now the collectors are starting to show up. Nice. <laughs> I don't think we can uh, walk back, can we? No. If we were in the car and on a road, we could have an auto driver there, but not walk.
There's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh. Pretend you're walking to the car. I mean, we are walking to the car, really. I'm glad I chose that food, though. So allow me to just keep running without running out of stamina. The hut is on. Huh. I think I can do this all by myself. Except you didn't handle it all by yourself, not just handle it all by yourself. It wasn't just me. I'm good as it's true. You better apologize. What is that? That is a giant winged beast. A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Will it explain its size? <laughs> awesome in every sense. <laughs> 